recipes, the action packed all the sports. Let's go on with the show now. Uh, bring in Tolu Oloru Morten. He is back again. Tolu, good to have you on the show. Great to be back here, Austin. Mm. It's been a long, long week, but uh, yeah. with a lot of testimonies and good news. The Tigers are there already, so it's been a great week. Are they? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a little from the Nigeria. <laughs> Definitely. I know, I know it's allowed. <laughs> and Alfred Okoligwe is also back Friday night. We love having Alfred. Alfred, good to have you on Sports Tonight. It's a great pleasure being here tonight. Two mm. weeks not been around now. I'm uh, really excited to be here this evening. We're glad to have you around. Now let's get into uh, the discussion for tonight. And then we'll begin with the 2017 National Youth Games is the third uh, edition. And for the third, the, the Ministry for Youth and Sports, they want to use it as a yardstick to see if they can establish a framework for talent discovery and development. We showed you a uh, long jump yesterday. We showed you the guys, 100 meters, 200 meters, even the 400 meters. We've also brought to you boxing. But, but Alfred, let me quickly get you talking. Um, this one is for talent discovery. And some states are already, I'm, I'm missing out on these. And we have also questioned the level of preparation, particularly in terms of infrastructure. I, I think um, if there is one um, event that we have to really pay particular attention to is this uh, National Youth Games. Uh, no, uh, novel idea, a uh, good one. And, but, but then, uh, like uh, it is for sports generally now, it's always um, the question of, uh, yes, uh, we lack this or lack that. Yes, some of the, in fact, the attendance has been good. Not everybody showed up. And for those who showed up, there are those who are crying that uh, some states are just undermining the effectiveness of it by fielding over eight players and mm -hmm. all of that. But if we really want to get the best from our sports, uh, things like this, remember programs like this should be encouraged. And I'm yes. sure that for the young men and women that have attended this event, I mean, this is, it can do a lot, a whole lot for them to know that, hey, if I'm good enough to find myself here, it means that with good training, dedication to the sport and mm -hmm. all of that, I'll make it to the top of uh, my sport, I, I mean, if to, to represent my state at this level, yeah. means uh, that which I need to do, do it very well and make, uh, make it to the top. And for, um, for, for, for states, I, I mean, it, it, it starts here. Everything good at the end of the day starts from events like this, giving mm. the, the, uh, the pedestal, the, the platform to really show, showcase their talent. And so uh, we just hope that a little more attention is paid. Paid, That's right. A little more attention Just a little. Is paid mm. to you know, mm. providing what mm. is needed to do things like this. Tolu, at this National Youth Games, uh, yesterday, a boy from Undo State ran 10.69. That sort of guy, you put his name down, yeah. you monitor him, yeah. you make him improve. I mean, sub 10, hmm. that's, that's, sub that's impressive. Oh, sub 11, rather. Yeah. That, that's fantastic. Keep it up that way, boy. And hey, we could be having a real gem in our hands. Mm -hmm. And apart from just developing the, the, the athletes themselves, I think the coaches equally have an opportunity to, hey, pick some really talented guys going into the future. Knowing that these are the guys who, in two, three years from now, we should be able to showcase at a global stage. This is a brilliant initiative, as Fred said rightly. Mm. Look, putting this in place means that we expect some level of progress. That's right. In two years' time, we probably don't expect to see the same set of guys there. And it's a shame, really, that some states are already fielding overaged athletes in competitions like this, which are meant to uh, build for the future. I mean, if we have not learned our lesson from anything at all, we should learn from football. 2007, we ce celebrated some heroes, and now we can't celebrate them like we should celebrate them mm. anymore because we feel that ineligible players. Mm. This time around, I think states need to pay proper attention, and also the ministry need to pay proper attention into seeing that this whole effort is not being jeopardized by the actions of states like this who feel ineligible athletes or overage athletes to compete against guys who are supposedly uh, expected to, to cut their teeth and get some level of exposure right. at this particular level. Very, very important. I, I'm afraid uh, of, of importance uh, to mention is that Nigeria hasn't done so well in international athletics competition. Don't go far. Look at what happened in London. And if you look at it from... Um, London 2012 to Tokyo to, um, to Rio 2016 to the World Championships, it's almost the same names, you see. It's time for us to start looking for new talents, not just new talents, quality talents, and we can get some here. Uh, yeah, we can get uh, some here. The thing is, when we get them, where 
Are we giving them the necessary exposure? Are mm. we uh, taking them where they ought to be? Are we keeping them monitoring their training? Are these guys exposed to elite coaching? Because at the end of the day, it depends on what, as a coach, you're able to impact on uh, these uh, young athletes. Uh, besides, um, the IWF uh, Youth Games that, that, that was held in Mombasa, yeah. Kenya, Nigeria did not attend. Yeah. Nigeria did not attend. It means that for, um, for young men and women who are this age, you know, having a chance to compete against other young athletes from around the world, we missed that opportunity. Why? There's no money to attend that game. We didn't attend the one in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, on the continent. We are looking to go to uh, <laughs> to that to look for. I, I mean, we just have to. We just have to. We just have to. You know, take things that are important. Very, very. Very, very important. These young uh, people, expose them to elite, uh, elite coaching. Make sure you provide an opportunity for them to showcase that. Okay, now after the youth games, everybody goes home. Yeah. The next two years, you don't get to see them. You get home. Uh, what do you want to do? Um, no, but I go to school and do that. So we need have to really have to pay more attention to to these guys. Okay, so that's it um, with the National Youth Games. Uh, athletics getting our attention uh, tonight on the show. Olamide Judge is the Vice President of the Athletics Federation of Nigeria. He says, look, you all can see that athletics hasn't been doing so well. So we must give attention to this grassroots initiative and see where we can turn this around. Let's listen to him. When we come back, there's still so much to talk about. Don't go anywhere. Stay. Of course, what we are trying to achieve is to save our sports, save the future of athletics, and because these are the future. The youth is the future of athletics. If you observe Nigeria in the last two Olympics, we were able to get to the podium. And look at what we just concluded in the World Championship this year. There was no medal for Nigeria. It does mean there's a missing link. We must start producing athletes for the future that we occupy those medals we have lost in the past. But with the way things are going down, looking at the 100 meter yesterday, we have a boy around the 10 6, 9 from Ondo State. And look at the 400 meter and the 200 meter. We hope for a better future. The athletes, the youth are really coming up. And what is more important for us is to harness all these athletes together and prepare them for the future. So any, any government, any policy without the youth for the future, it's, it's not ready for the work. Close to 20, 30 states here participated. And I am really surprised, too, because in spite of the economic situation, of course, Nigeria, we're out of recess, recession now, has been said. But nevertheless, people are still here to support their athletes. The athletes are here massively running. The only matter, we have a lot of eats yesterday. The Hartley came out to run to the final, and it shows that we have really done well in terms of participation. There was a large turnout from the state.